<clears throat> this is a game called Turok Dinosaur Hunter. It was originally out on the N64 in 1996. So it was, it's an old game, and uh, I played it on uh, my N64. Uh, I remember where I lived. Um, I had this big stereo with, well, stereo from RCA. It had a preamp, you know, it had huge speakers. And I got it all hooked up over my stereo. And uh, the sound, the ambient sounds, the, the wildlife sounds, the, the constant music um, was just hilarious and fun to play. And uh, this is, again, 1996, seven time frame. This was, this was even before 007, what do we call that, Goldeneye? that popular game. This is like uh, one of the really big hits on the N64. And one of the things I remember back then was the, the, on the news, they, they talked about this game having so much gore and violence. And you look at it, and it's, it's just, watch. See? I mean, he's, you got some blood coming out there. And that was what bothered everybody, and uh, and now, I mean, of course, this is nothing <laughs> compared to what we've been, I don't know, if you want to call it desensitized to, but uh, here I'm adjusting the volume because I, I thought it was too loud when I was trying to, my, 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 my microphone wasn't working, so I just had to do some troubleshooting. Listen here. Look at that. There's a PC mu music version. Much more subdued. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. You know, that big bass drum sound <clears throat> is not on the PC version, at least on the part that I played. So. Here I'm looking at the primary display, and I, I was a little surprised. View Sonic. View Sonic. I mean, that's the name of my display. So it's not the graphics card. It's just the display. So I, I have it on a laptop, and then it's HDMI to, to a monitor. That's View Sonic monitor. <laughs> OK. <coughs> <clears throat> There's actually two video cards on this box, or on this um, laptop. Uh, Intel graphics and uh, an NVIDIA uh, 10, I don't know, 1050, I think, TI. Back, back when I got this years ago, it was considered a VR ready. Laptop. Now this won't even pass a test for VR. So. I mean, it still works. I've used it for VR. So anyway, this is just the portion. I didn't play very long. jumping around on these little, you know, logs sticking out from the rock. Very primitive. To your left, run! I mean, it's that constant, here's where I get killed. Boom. Dead! Watch this. Here's the animation. This. <laughs> I, I am Turok. So imagine this, you know, being coming over your stereo speakers in 1996. 
for the first time. It, it just was such a big deal back then. Uh, it was amazing. I was uh, definitely hooked. I don't think I ever finished this game. <sighs> like I did with the 007 Goldeneye. But it was still good. I mean, back then, I remember, I would always get stuck on a level. Some level. And I would just get stuck. You'd listen to the sounds underwater. Anytime you go underwater, it, it switches to this music. And it kind of, you know, gives you a your submerged subterranean sound. And here I get kind of lost. And I thought I was going to run out of the air, but I, I didn't. And so that's Turok, Dinosaur Hunter. Um, I, I, switch, I switched it off after this, but. It's a nice look back. I got it on sale. That's the, that's the reason I got it. It was I've been waiting for for it to go on sale for a long time on Steam. So anyway, good times.